What we have here is the Eat Smart Digital Bathroom Scale. The model number on this is ESBS-01. Uh, this scale right here is the number one rated bathroom scale on Amazon. And uh, you know, pretty much any household that has multiple bathrooms, I mean it's nice to have a scale in each one, or one for the kids and one for the adults, what have you. This right here is just a basic scale. I mean, it, its main features are simply weighing you, whereas other scales have bone density percentages and body fat percentages and all that fun stuff. This gets right down to the basics right here, which I think makes it extremely good. There's less stuff to go wrong on it. Uh, as you will see, uh, the scale right here is glass. You know, which makes it kind of difficult to, to get a good angle on this thing with the lighting because it wants to reflect. Uh, but also in the package, which you get with this are four batteries, and these right over here are AAA batteries, which is kind of nice. You get something, an electronic device, you don't have to go running out to the store and buy it. Also, you get this nifty scale right here. So you can go ahead and measure yourself, and it's got a release button on back. Comes right in. So I mean, it's a really nice package for somebody that's on a diet or just wants to monitor their weight. Right here is the owner's manual. Nothing too fancy about this here. In fact, it's only five pages long. And yeah, we'll go ahead and zoom in here on the specifications. And you'll see right here the capacity is 400 pounds. Um, I mean, that, that's a pretty stout scale right there. And it, it's got step-on technology, as they call it, whereas most scales of this type, you have to step on, step off real quick to let it know that you're going to be trying to get a, a weight measurement. This one here, you just step on, it'll weigh you right up. Um, one of the problems with this scale, and it's really not that big of an issue, but if you have small tile floor, these pegs here, they're not very big, you know, and they're on the bottom. So if you have a, a really fine tile floor uh, with grout lines that are very close together, you may find that this does not sit very well. Um, you know, so with that being said, uh, that's about the only main problem with it. Right over here, I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit more on this here. Right here, you can see where the battery compartment is. And we can go ahead and open this up here for you real quick. And you'll see we went ahead and put some Duracells in there. And over here, on the back of it, you've got your selection here for kilograms, pounds, and stones. That's the, the weight measurements that it gives you. Uh, but it's a really nice scale. I mean, affordably priced, you know, which I think is fantastic. Uh, I think I purchased this one here for like $30. And if you go to like a local store, you'll find that most of the scales are similar priced. This scale right here too, uh, the ESBS-01, that also qualifies for free shipping from Amazon. Of course, you have to meet the minimum threshold for the order, but it's a fantastic scale. So let's go ahead and, you know, I'll go ahead and give you my weight here. Uh, out of embarrassment, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and step on the scale here for you real quick and not be too concerned with telling my weight to the world. So hold on a second. Let me go get this thing set up on the floor so we can take a look at this LCD display that's up here and see how well this bad boy works. Hold on. All right, I went ahead and moved this scale to a different area here for the film uh, simply because the glass was giving me an issue with reflection. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and step on the scale. Anytime you move this thing, it, it needs to be calibrated to zero itself out. So let's see if it does it. And there it goes. And it's zeroed. 
Okay, so now any time from this point that we go ahead and step on the scale, it should automatically read what our weight is. Uh, unless you move it or change the batteries, it should be fine. So let's go ahead and step on it. And you'll notice the backlit display on that, which is really nice. You know, especially at nighttime, you know, with the black uh, letters, or excuse me, the black numbers there, that backlit really allows it to stand out. So you'll see that it says I weigh 171.2 pounds. Uh, that's to be expected. I do have a cell phone strapped onto my side. Actually, I weigh a little bit less than that, but uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Considering I used to weigh about 220 pounds, I've held this weight here for probably every bit of two years. Uh, through healthy diet and exercise. So let's go ahead and step on it again to see if it repeats. And notice how I step, you know, right in the center there. Uh, 171.2. So we're good there. Let me go ahead and step off of it again. Let's go ahead and let it reset. And the reason why I'm doing this is because the scale does seem uh, fairly accurate when you compare it to other models that are around a similar price, uh, you know, which is ideal here. Obviously, if you want to scale, you want it to be accurate. Uh, 171.2. Excellent. So what I'm going to do here, without stopping the video, is scoot this thing over here just a little bit. Okay, so we moved it. And it should have to recalibrate itself. So I'm, I'm going to step on it. There we go. And it zeroes itself out. And we'll wait for it to turn off and then I'll step on. We'll see if it repeats itself. Right there, 171.2. So I mean it's very fairly accurate in repeating, uh, which is great. I mean if, if you want to scale, you want the thing to be accurate. Um, the only downside to this thing as far as weights go, if you've got small children, which we do, uh, we're looking at ages 7 and 9, they've got smaller feet, so they have a tendency to step on the edge right here, okay? And that'll give a bad reading. Their feet have to be centered in between those black dots right there on the, on the sides, you know? So when they step on, they've got to step in the middle right there to get an accurate reading. And it is accurate, but like I said, their tendency to step on, on the edge here will throw it off. Uh, but in this case, I'm on. So, if you're looking for a scale, you know, this is definitely a good one here. Uh, it, it's high rated for a reason. So, I encourage you to take a look at some of the specifications and other information that I'll put in the description. And if you like this scale... I'll go ahead and provide a link to it. You can go right over to Amazon, check it out, buy it, and go from there. Okay, have a great day.